Hiya, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. So today we are building in Dalsil Valley on Starlight Boulevard, which is the kind of more city area of the neighborhood, I guess. And we're going to be building a apartment block. And the idea behind this is that different talent agencies within Dalsil Valley have bought different apartments within this complex. So say one talent agency has bought one and they can then do what they like with it, like decorate it how they want and then they will rent that out to their talent at a reduced rate. So yeah, that's the kind of idea behind it. And the look I was going for was kind of an apartment block you might see in downtown LA. That's kind of what the exterior vibe is, so it's kind of just and somewhat average looking apartment block on the outside nothing too special but then there's some of the inside apartments are quite nicely decorated depending on the agency who owns them I guess uh, so yeah I've just put the pool right there in the center because I don't know why that just is something I would imagine in LA for apartment blocks I think that's quite common is it but yeah, since Delso Valley is kind of based off LA, it's the kind of exterior I was going after. But yeah, I thought within the Delso Valley neighborhood, there's three areas. So there's Mirage Park, which describes itself as like the more reasonably priced area. And that's kind of where Sims who are becoming actors or whatever they're doing kind of start out. So that's the cheaper area, I guess. And there's the Pinnacles, which has the three mansion lots. And then there's Downtown, which originally just has the community lots. So there's not really any kind of in-between residential area. Like it's just starting, it's either the really cheap one or the expensive, the expensive mansions. So I thought it'd be cool to have kind of an apartment block downtown. And I guess these Sims... Um, aren't quite just starting out like they've been recognized and a talent agency has decided to put them up in one of their apartments and help them out so they're kind of on their way up the fame track but not right at the top um yeah because in the downtown starlight boulevard area there were two lounge lots so this one's replacing i think it was called orchard a go go because I figured you don't really need two lounge lots down here so it'd be cool to make one into an apartment block but yeah I was thinking this could maybe be like a mini series of building Starlight Boulevard which has five lots just because I want to like redo all of them um, yeah I'd like to redo the lounge and do like a nightclub build and the area that's the gym I believe is next to this lot and I was thinking it'd be cool to do like a sushi karaoke place um, set as a restaurant but then Sims can also go into rooms and do karaoke that could be kind of neat but anyway this build um, right now I'm doing this corner apartment and I'm not sure if I show the bedrooms for this one but anyway on the ground floor here we've got the kitchen and living room together with a bathroom and downstairs is where the bedroom is and also a study originally i was thinking of putting the study oh here i do show it i was thinking of putting the study upstairs but that wasn't really working so i moved it downstairs and this apartment's kind of for someone who's uh maybe trying to become a youtuber or something because that's what that video station is for isn't it sims make videos of themselves and upload them online so each one of these apartments kind of has a theme or a what do you call it a career path that the sim would be going down but well that could obviously be changed um yeah i like this living room area just use some greens yellows and then lots of jungle adventure wallpapers and floors throughout this whole build 
I might even do uh, a walkthrough at the very end before I show photos just because not photos I always call them photos but they're just screenshots uh, just because I think a walkthrough might be easier to see where everything ends up because like usual well, for this build it was originally 30 minutes and I wanted to cut it down to 10 so some bits I do tend to skip over quite a lot but um, yeah some of them were just a bit boring like me painting the exterior and then going back and <clears throat> sorry painting bits that I missed and I'll show a bit of the exterior here but yeah a lot of bits kind of get cut out the majority of windows in this build are on the inside and the outside still have some for light but the idea is that um, it kind of has more privacy that way so sims can't just be like looking in but I have found at the very front there's not really a gate it's just kind of a little area where you go through to the pool and then go to whatever apartment you want but the paparazzi will go through to the pool area I think even if you had a gate they're gonna get through anyway but yeah they get annoying just so many of them are always appearing but here in this corner now I'm just doing another little apartment so it's just this main room with the kitchen lounge and the bedroom on the end there and this apartment's for an artist sim so I guess they're making their way up in their career doing various art pieces so this is kind of the apartment catered towards that kind of sim um, I had a sim just come in and paint that mural on the wall but if you do download this I think that's gone because it kind of disappeared in my game so I just had them paint another one but anyway <laughs> just made this apartment very colorful because it's kind of how I imagine an artists apartment would be like and lots of counter space in the kitchen um, here on the corner I'm just quickly putting in a gym uh, so sims can get their exercise anytime they want and it's kind of private with no real windows around the outside apart from that one from is it spa day which kind of doesn't you can't really see in very well um, here I was trying to put a roof balcony originally and I tried for quite a while but I found that the roof was like cutting into the half wall and I just couldn't seem to get it to work but I thought I'd leave that in because it's kind of interesting seeing sometimes how people want their builds to go but then they can end up quite different I don't know I do have like three other balconies outside but the roof one would have been cool but didn't quite work um, this apartment here is a bit larger so downstairs it's got the bedroom bathroom a second kind of bathroom just with a toilet and private laundry uh, there's also lawn a laundry room right at the bottom that's kind of shared for the whole apartment block but some of the apartments have their own as well this bedroom is probably one of my favorites I just kind of liked how all the pieces came together and it looked quite neat um, I'm just kind of skipping over the bathrooms just because I don't think that's really too interesting to watch but yeah I had to shorten this down a bit and we're about to head upstairs and do the lounge um, that area by the window at the back there is kind of weird and I was thinking of putting a bathroom there but it didn't really work so I ended up closing off that area the only thing was is that I did play test this and fix anything but then I found after that that sometimes sims would get stuck in that area back there so it's kind of annoying you might want to open up that piece of wall if you do decide to use this in your game um, this kitchen I really like as well I think I've been using mostly just counters from jungle adventure I don't know kind of just like their colorway even though the handles are kind of big on them uh, so yeah this upstairs bit just the kitchen lounge and then on the end I can't really point I'm like pointing to where it is but you can't see here I'm putting the red door that ends up being kind of a beauty room I guess so there's some renting out this apartment is perhaps in something fashion related or this is just their room they use to get ready before they go to their auditions or acting jobs now I believe there's one more apartment to show after this one and then I also have quite a large empty apartment but I've done like the kitchen and stuff in it um, I don't think that's recorded on video so I might just do or add that in as a part of the walkthrough um, but this next apartment we're about to go to um, just has that yellow wall it's right next to that one with the study 
Um, and I kind of skip over the kitchen area a lot just because I'm not really happy with how it turned out. So right here, um, I don't know, like I just, I couldn't get it how I wanted it to look like. And then finally when I thought it kind of looked okay, I don't know, I just came back to it later and I'm like, I do not like this <laughs> at all. You know when you think things are good and you just when you go back it's like nah -uh. But the bedroom downstairs and bathroom, I really like the colours and how all that came together. But yeah, not so keen on the upstairs living area. Uh, so this apartment also has its own private laundry area. And I think it's got downstairs ensuite bathroom and upstairs there's also um, just a little toilet room attached to the lounge. Uh, also upstairs in the lounge there's stairs that lead right up to the very top of the apartment and that's just like a large empty room so I'm guessing that could be turned into a bedroom or a like study video making area or something related to their job or career they're pursuing. Um, yeah. Now I've been trying pretty hard to upload every week. Um, I meant to upload this on the weekend but why didn't I do that? Oh, um, I was just needing to do the voice recording and I was going to do that when my boyfriend went to his training on Sunday morning but he ended up staying and having a sleep in because he was quite tired which is fair enough but then I was like I can't do my voice recording now because it's I can't do it in front of people when they're like in the same room I just find that real awkward so I'm just doing it now today after work. But yeah, it's definitely easier making builds and doing videos now that I'm living together with my boyfriend because I'm not always like traveling to over to go see him and being away from my computer and I don't have flatmates around. So yeah, it's just all a bit easier now. Um, but here's just the last part of the build. We're putting uh, a bar in which I guess maybe some of the Sims agencies would hold little events here or something. But let's head into some screenshots now. Uh, I apologize, I said I was going to do like a video walkthrough and I just tried that now but it ended up taking like seven minutes and the camera controls were kind of laggy going through the property but I'm saving up for a new computer and should hopefully have it soon so the videos will kind of be better quality as well as gameplay so that will be so much better. But yes, enjoy these little screenshots instead. If you want to kind of get a better idea of the layout of this, you can always download it off my gallery. Just search Modern Miss and you can kind of see where everything is a bit better. And I guess some of the areas that you didn't really see in the speed build. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.